To the economy now, a record number of Americans are quitting their jobs. New Labor Department report shows nearly four and a half million people left their jobs in September. And Americans are citing a number of reasons for that, including the continued pandemic, a lack of child care, and just wanting to get paid better than what they're getting in their current position. We're joined now by Margaret Brennan from CBS's Face the Nation in Washington this afternoon. Uh, Margaret, you spoke with Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen exclusively. Uh, you asked her about that Labor Department report. What was the biggest takeaway from your interview with her? Well, she says everything comes back to getting a hold of this pandemic. Uh, she argues that that is at the center of everything. And for this great resignation, as some have deemed it, um, it only continues month by month. At the same time, you're also seeing a demand for workers and a shortage of available skilled laborers. So we pressed her on what is being done and she pointed, as you mentioned there, in part to some of the burdens that have fallen primarily on uh, women and on childcare providers. Uh, and that that is at the center of so much of what has uh, hurt labor force participants participation. Um, when you look at the data, uh, there are high numbers of women with college degrees, with flexible work schedules, meaning they could work from home and they still dropped out of the workforce. Uh, a lot of that being blamed on the lack of available child care and the challenges uh, associated with that. So we dig into that and inflation at a 30 year high. The cost of living has gone up dramatically in America and we'll press her on just when it gets any better. Margaret, another uh, big interview this weekend. You have David Malepass, head of the World Bank on Face the Nation Sunday. Uh, he and Melinda Gates, I'm told, uh, have said that women need to be at the center of the recovery from the COVID-19 recession. Uh, what do you hope to learn from that conversation Sunday? And this is interesting because, again, these are economists making this argument, not politicians. David Malpass was appointed to his job at the World Bank by former President Donald Trump. And he is making that argument at the same time that Janet Yellen, uh, the President Biden's appointee, is making that argument. Um, so we want to get to the bottom line with him. Uh, also talk to him about the global picture. The World Bank also is being asked to step up and help uh, essentially subsidize the cost for developing countries, poor nations uh, who are dealing with the fallout of climate change. Uh, the industrialized countries like the United States, India, China are the world's top polluters, but it is the poorest who are bearing the brunt of the fallout. We will talk to him about the bottom line coming out of that global summit uh, dealing with climate change in Glasgow, Scotland. So a lot to talk about with him. All right, Margaret, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Be sure to watch Face the Nation this Sunday morning starting at 930.